Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own uh, custom, your own kick GUI in Roblox Studio slash custom kick GUI. So, the, I made my own kick GUI template that you can use from the toolbox. It will be in the description below and then just click the link and get the model. Once you have done that, just uh, go and press the grid right here and press my models right here and then go and, pr and click on the new kick gui and then uh it'll uh, and then you'll see in the workspace kick gui template uh right click and right click this uh, in the template and then press ungroup now go and ungroup the replicated storage this right ungroup and replicated storage. Put this in replicated storage. Ungroup, uh, ungroup and serve script service to go in server script service. Click these two things, right click and then press ungroup. Now, if you want to change the players who has access to the um uh, to the kicks UI, then just press only access players in server script service. And then you can add, uh, you can change the players right here. So I'm going to put scripted ocean and vices. At, once you have uh, entered in your, the usernames you want to have access to, go and close the script, go inside of the kick GUI right, uh, GUI right here, press the little arrow, press, uh, press this arrow, uh, kick GUI, and then s find the submit. So, and then add in a new uh local script and now go and call this the client so now we're gonna well, we're gonna have to do a few things so the first thing we got to do is get the submit button so we so the idea is we need the script which is right here we can just we can just use script because that what that's just a keyboard in roblox to get the script that we're currently in and then, uh, and then basically we can uh, say the parent of the script, and that's the submit button. So let's go and say local submit equals submit spelled like this equals to script parent. So I just explained there the script parent. So now submit dot mouse button one click. It clicked if it was if the button was clicked if this if we click submit then then we're gonna uh, connect a function and we're gonna uh, and then we're just gonna uh, remove this extra parenthesis and then press enter now what you're gonna want to do is type in local kicked player spelt like this equals to game dot players colon wait for child we're waiting for a new uh waiting for the new uh we're waiting for a the player we're gonna we're gonna be waiting for something and then script dot parent dot parent dot username dot text so what we're doing is that um Whatever we entered inside of the script, uh, inside of the username, we enter something. We entered my username. Let's say I did that. Um, it will, it will, the the game will try to find that the what we entered in right there, inside of a game service. But obviously, if you want to, you can go and create a variable right here. Uh, call it players equals game. Colon get service players, and then you can just instead of game dot players, you can just say players. So that's what I'm gonna do. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna want to create. A, uh, we're gonna want to uh, get. Uh, we're gonna want to make a new variable. So press enter right here in line three, uh, and then and then line four. Just press line three again, and then type in local kick equals game. Uh, game colon get service replicated storage dot kick. 
Also, if you want to, you can go and 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 get the replicated storage service. So that's what I'm gonna do. So local replicated storage equals game colon get service replicated storage local kick equals replicated storage colon wait for child kick kick. This is an important part. This is where we're gonna learn how to use remote events. So kick colon fire server and then you're going to want to type in kicked player so now what we're going to do is we're sending kicked player to the server so we're going to want to send kicked player to the server so that's what we're basically doing so now we're you're going to want to uh, go and create a new script this is going to be our server script call it server now we can start scripting uh, so it's, we're not going to type the code in this client script. We're going to want to do it in the server script. So what you're going to want to do is local, uh, or, or if you want to, you can just copy and paste of what we did here and copy these two lines and paste it into here. But instead of using wait for child, we'll just do dot kick because you don't need to use wait for child, uh, on the server. So now what we're going to do is kick dot on server event connect colon connect function player so player always goes first and then the player which is kicked so we're going to do kicked player now what you're going to want to do is go at the top of of the script and go and create a message so type in local message equals and then this is the kicked message of what there is what it's going to show whenever they get kicked. So we're going to do you have been kicked from our game uh, uh, fr uh, from the admin like this. You've been kicked from the admin kick kicked player colon kick and then type in a uh, message just like that and yeah that's basically all we have to do so what I'm gonna do actually is instead of doing uh, only uh, in, instead of doing scripted ocean and vices I'm gonna do player one and player two the reason why I'm gonna do this be is because so we can test it in a two-player server so if you if you're doing the same thing too then you can just do the same thing as this so now let's go and exit out, go and start our two player server, and let's go and see if it works. So uh, we're going to be loading up, we're loading up, and here we are. So now what we're going to do is press open kick GUI, and then uh, you can see that it, it, we, I added a script in, our, in my template. Uh, you, you can see that if we, uh, whenever we click open, open kick GUI, it now says co uh, close kick GUI and it, and it opens it. So now what we can do here is in insert the name of what we want the player to be kicked. So player, uh, two, and then we w might want to kick it. So we might, might want to submit it. So we're going to click on submit. And then uh, I, I got to show you, um, you can see that the player has been removed from the game. And also for that pl specific player, specific player, um, you'll, it will show up a message that says you've been kicked from the admin. So yeah, that's basically the tutorial. Uh, bye guys, and I'm going to see you in the next video.